Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. I am Sylph and we're all about positivity and optimism. A very different video today as I'm feeling kind of inspired with a recent dis discussion with my parents. My mother and stepfather, well, they're going to be retiring soon and they want to know what is the difference between buying a truck and an RV or a camper and going down south and being snowbirds as you know escaping the cold up here in Canada is certainly quite appealing so they want to know the difference should they buy a truck an RV go down south have all that fun or simply just take the car that they already own travel down south and rent we're trying to compare those two scenarios and you know what spreadsheet is how to do it i recommend that everybody do spreadsheets for almost literally everything obviously your budget obviously if you're trying to figure out what things to buy especially cars stuff like that absolutely recommended i just kind of wanted to show you how what this is all about and kind of how to do it and some things maybe that you are forgetting so in this top scenario here this is the this is the 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 mean potatoes. This is the truck. It's a 2015 Ram 3500 4x4 diesel that I found on on, on Auto Trader 489, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. This is a used RV. It looks pretty darn good and is something that they may be using. Not too old, nice, you know, it's a retirement. They want to enjoy it, but uh, you know, not brand spanking new. So there's a, obviously a lot of things that go in here. You, know, you got trade-in value slash trying to sell it. Of course, trying to sell it by yourself gives a little bit more, more money, but you have to, you know, do your research. You have to go on on very on, on, on various reputable websites slash also just try to do some market research yourself. And that is exactly what I did starting in 2019 all the way down to 2029. Then you have depreciation. That's going to come in. That's pretty much the largest factor in owning a vehicle, surprisingly enough. While a house gets you money for owning it, cars and vehicles absolutely do not unless of course you have a nice you know classic vehicle or something something like that so depreciation a huge factor and that's really important to figure out that number which is basically just kind of what you bought it for and uh you know what you're selling it for basically and what you get back when you when you overturn that so the payments here that is that is in that is in here just to just to increase just to take into consideration the financing cost uh, because well usually people don't have you know 50 grand in cash to, to, to hand over they have to finance it so there is a cost to that and that is what um that is what re is represented here even though it's the full amount kilometers per year is interesting between the two scenarios because the truck is going to be their primary method of transportation while as the car here uh you know they'll use all year round and you know they'll still they'll still have it so the kilometers here for the truck pretty much includes all the kilometers that 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 they're going to do you know throughout throughout the summer th th throughout the year with that camper but the car has the advantage of well we're just looking at added kilometers not total kilometers just added kilometers in 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 the scenario fuel per per year again you have to look up real world numbers you can't just go off of uh off of that sticker and there are some fantastic sites so there's the fuel we have the oil which is really which is really easy to get quotes from maintenance is a bit tough i put the rubber for a uh for, for a new set of tires every four years plus maybe a four thousand dollar repair bill that is a bit tricky to do but there are some websites out there uh, that obviously you know try to give you estimates for 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 maintenance you never really know but highballing it is always a good thing and insurance is there as well because you got to insure a whole new other vehicle and that is and that is an added cost so there's a and there's a yearly cost here that runs along and then there's a running cost of ownership that is this number is all of the money you have spent to on this vehicle over time minus the amount you get when you go to sell it you know when when, when you when you flip it divided by the years that you have added so you know in the first year you've spent 29,710 
In the second year, you've spent $28,803 per year, $24,000. As you can see, the longer you own it, the more there, the less money you have spent on average per year. And that's kind of why you want to keep your vehicles a little bit, you know, you try to keep them as long as possible so you can get the most value out of it. Now here is the RV. It's very much the same. You have trade in value, depreciation, payments, maintenance, and insurance. Obviously it doesn't take, it doesn't uh, in, take fuel. Well, it does, it does take fuel, um, but I did a little bit of, I, I did some research into kind of towing fuel economy and interestingly enough it doesn't actually affect one tons too much it really kind of doesn't um at least well at least it didn't really seem like it so i put in the towing fuel economy for that for that even though maybe you wouldn't get it that the whole time so of course then there's depreciation there's financing costs maintenance just 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 for it just random little things or if you know if nothing happens a couple of years and then something big happens well at least you've averaged that out so that that is important to do insurance and the yearly cost and the annual running cost of ownership and then the combined cost of ownership combining the truck and the rv here you get some pretty high numbers $48,000 the first year, $39,763 per year in just the first two years. And then when you look at the over 10 years, that's still $21,551 per year that you're spending just to have these um, on av averaged out um, over, over a 10 year span. So 2028, it's a lot of money. And you know what? Uh, they'd be they would be 65 around here and then almost 70 um, at, at this point. Maybe that is something, uh, you know, maybe maybe that's time to slow down and, and, and stay at home, but I don't know. So we've gone out here 13 years of, of owning these vehicles, traveling the States, travel, traveling Canada and enjoying themselves. 18,000, pretty much $500 per year. So while we know that, while renting down South, it's actually, a very simple scenario. Remember, we're, we're, we are changing up what they are doing right now. And in this scenario, not much changes. The added kilometers onto the vehicle that they already own and already use, I put around 10,000. It's like, it's 3,500 kilometers from where, where we live to the very tip of Florida. And that's the farthest, really pretty, pretty much the farthest, unless maybe you go way up into, in, into, into Alaska. And even then, I don't think that that would be that far. So 10,000. That's a, lot, that's a lot, that's a lot of kilometers. Um, you know, maybe they can definitely go go above that, but I mean, they're Civic, it's per, it's pretty fuel, fuel efficient. Seven liters per hundred kilometers. Again, you gotta look up real world stuff, especially a lot of that's highway, so that's gonna be really good. So fuel doesn't cost too much. Oil, pretty cheap, $70. You can actually get it for, for I think 55 at a local dealership here. Uh, so the oil, I mean, that really, it's, 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 peen, it's kind of peanuts at this point again rubber for some new tires and then maybe a three thousand dollar repair bill or something like that average that out so you got yearly cost doesn't really matter and yes of course prices change uh, but a lot of that is inflation uh, some of that is inflation and then some of that is actually just changing so it's kind of fine to do this cost savings versus the eight thousand eighteen thousand five hundred dollar budget is seventeen thousand and sixty five dollars they spend five months away. That is three thousand four hundred and thirteen dollars per month that they can spend for only rent. Remember, food isn't is isn't isn't in either of these scenarios. Food is on top of that. Uh, you know, just n normal toiletries, normal you know travel insurance. It's not included in either of these because it kind of doesn't really change with with, with either of those. That is just for rent. My goodness, for a three thousand four hundred dollar penthouse suite in Florida or in New Mexico or something like that is pretty sweet. So very much different video here today. Of course, this is a very tailor specific scenario, and I hope to and I hope to be as self informed and self in, in self inclusive. Um, in, in this video as possible. Very different. I know, but there you guys go. RV or rent. You know what? Maybe it wasn't much of a surprise at, you know, at, um, at, at the beginning, but of course there is another consideration here. You know, you can't, you can't pick up and tow a mobile cabin, you know, 
when when you're renting you can't pick up and and, and you know and move a mobile cabin around you simply can't you know um it's in the summer when they're here you know grandchildren and stuff like that they won't have that if if, if they go and rent if you want if you want to you know spread you know um you know the the, the that budget over 12 months so that you can you know rent a cabin in you know he, you know he, here at home in in the summer that's fourteen hundred dollars which is a very interesting consideration as uh you know what that may that may get you a couple weeks two weeks maybe um not not very not not, not very many weeks per month but a large majority uh of a cabin here at home uh per month so you know that's not too bad anyways it's really quite interesting what do you guys think let me know down in the comments